Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yansu's Universe. It's me, Yansu. This is going to be a quick all signs reading, what to expect in May. We're going to go all the way from Aries to Pisces. You guys, not every card, not every message, not every storyline will resonate. Only take what resonates. You guys can book a personal reading with me. Donate to the channel. Like this video. That will really help our channel grow and um, help the YouTube algorithm like share subscribe leave me a comment leave me a love donation let's jump into it aries what can you expect in may 2022 aries emotions are running high aries so you could be very emotional someone is very emotional but someone could be emotion based emotions will be running high in may so surrender to the divine just surrender let the divine do it. Let God have it. Give it to God. Let go and let God in May. That's what's going to be going on, okay? So get balanced. So get prepared now rather than later. Okay, Aries. The Empress. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Libra, or maybe your baby mom or baby dad. Okay, we got the Page of Swords reversed. Maybe you get some information you don't like. Um, maybe you hear something about your children or just someone is getting information about you. We got the two of cups at the bottom right here. So let's see. Clarify the Empress for Aries. Six of coins. So maybe you could be having to deal with child support. Maybe you're finding out that you're pregnant again. Or um, you're going to have another baby. If not, you just have one more thing on your plate. Okay, you might be stretching yourself a little thin. Clarify the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, new love, new idea, new baby, new new something. With the temperance, be balanced. Get ready now rather than later. Clarify the Page of Swords. The Devil. Yeah, somebody says something or does something that you don't like. Clarify the Page of Swords and the Devil. Could be with an Aquarius. Justice. Whatever negativity that was going on is going to be balanced. How? Clarify justice. Knight of Cups. Somebody's going to give a love offer or be more emotionally balanced, emotionally stable. Someone might have a mental health disability or anything like that, especially with the Page of Swords and the Devil. Maybe somebody might be on medicine, things like that. So I feel like you're getting your child the help they need somebody's getting the help they need they need because emotions are running high so maybe you might be feeling like you're going through a midlife crisis or emotional breakdown you're not you're just growing and expanding okay clarify the lovers this is the, the lovers my bad not the two of cups this is the lovers all right we got the four of cups right here clarify the lovers and the four of cups six of wands okay so you feel like if you give this person tough love, you don't want to enable them. You love them, but if you give them tough love, you feel like that's how you'll get the win. That's how you'll get the victory. Yeah, judgment. You're going to try to do things different. And this person may have temper tantrums. They may have outbursts. Or this could be you, but this is the best thing for you to do. This is some a new beginning, new idea, or this could be a child. Some type of gift. So two gifts, two new beginnings, two options, opportunities. Okay, so just surrender to the divine. Your emotions will be running high, but it's above you, okay? It's above you. Okay, Taurus. If I can get my damn cards together. Taurus. What can Taurus expect in May? Meditate and contemplate. Could be dealing with the Pisces. So meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. All right. What can Taurus expect in May? The answers you need are coming. Could be dealing with the Pisces or a Gemini. So meditate and contemplate because answers are coming. Don't let pride get in your way. You may not like what you hear or you may be too prideful to admit or come to terms with or whatever. But meditate and contemplate. The answers you need are coming, all right? Accept the truth for what it is. Temperance. Get balanced. Meditate, contemplate. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Be patient in moderation. Four of Pentacles. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Three of 
three of cups okay so the answers you need are coming be open to these answers meditate pray meditate and contemplate two meditation cards because temperance could be meditation as well okay get some time to spirit spirit is trying to talk to you clarify the temperance you could be dealing with the sagittarius capricorn pisces or cancer or a gemini ace of wands yeah meditate and contemplate clarify the ace of wands and temperance as well i hear semen retention some of you could be becoming abstinent yeah four swords you're becoming abstinent semen retention there's something you're fasting from or not doing a lot of it could be sex or could be fasting from your phone or communication or giving something a break meditating four swords could represent meditation as well so we have three meditation cards coming out so this is very important for you or for one of you taurus in may clarify the four of coins four wands four 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 yes four four swords four wands four of pentacles four 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 yes this is confirmation four wands is the celebration card it's the union card it's a reason to be happy could be a house things like that so clarify the four of pentacles and the four of wands i wonder if spirit is trying to tell you to keep something a secret the magician yeah you manifested this you're taking time out you're not talking to anybody you're meditating contemplating um ace of pentacles when i cut the deck and there are blessings coming to you the answers you need are coming if you would if you would just sit and talk to spirit meditate pray clarify the three of cups king of coins so yeah the money you need is coming the loan or something you need is coming clarify the three of cups and the king of coins so let me see yeah, the wheel of fortune. Your fortune is changing. Meditate and contemplate. Sit down and manifest this money. Or think about this business idea. Seven of Pentacles. This business idea that you want. Or this raise. Or it's, it's something to do with money. Or monetary items. Or stability. Something like that. Because the king of coins is someone with money. You And then you have the four of coins. So maybe spirit is telling you save. How can you build this money? How can you get invest in your money to make it grow for you? Your will, your will is changing. The for, your fortune is changing. So the answers you need are coming. Somebody will get back with you and give you an answer that's going to help you make a decision. I hear it's going to give you some peace and rest as well. So meditate and contemplate. You need rest. You need peace of mind. 444, four, four, you are on the right track in the right area, the right direction. Yes, you have made it to the right place. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius um cancer gemini or a pisces what can gemini expect in may i see expect powerful change all right what can gemini expect in may Nothing is yet set in stone, Gemini. So expect things to change too. Your hard work is paying off. Your hard work is paying off. Nothing is yet set in stone. So if you got a denial, that denial may not be a um, a forever infinite denial. If somebody told you to wait, it may not be a forever infinite wait. Your hard work is paying off. So remember that nothing is yet nothing is yet set in stone so have everything in a row have your ducks in a row plan a plan b and plan c because you never know what may um work out or what may fall through all right what can gemini expect in may this is for gemini Queen of Swords, your energy. All right. You're talking to somebody. You're thinking about something. You're planning. Communication. You're planning on sending someone a message, 
someone is planning on sending you a message, talking to you or traveling towards you. Three of Swords. Okay, what you hear, um, you may not like. What they hear, they may not like. With the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck, I'm wondering if somebody's going to tell you something and it makes you feel better, though. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Gemini. Two of Coins. Wondering if you will. I hear blocks. So you may have someone blocked and they're trying to reach out to you. Check your spam as well. Check your email. Ace of Swords, yes. Somebody's going to find a way to get to you or talk to you. Or you're going to find a way to get to them and talk to them. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Four of Wands came out anyway. Okay? So I hear your sister is trying to get in contact with you. And this may be a sister who transitioned. They're, if you've been blocking it out, blocking your intuition or blocking your dreams and the smells that you've been smelling, the feelings you've been feeling, the sounds you've been hearing, the messages you've been hearing, they're trying to talk to you. If I don't, I don't know if it's your sister or some type of woman. It could be your mother, grandmother, your auntie trying to tell you something. You're going through something right now. Somebody's trying to tell you they love you. They're trying to tell you that they're here for you. Okay, that was an intuitive message, but somebody needed to hear that. They said, I love you. You're not alone. Clarify the Eight of Wands and the Four of Wands. You get good news in regard to travel. You get good news in regard to a relationship. You get good news in regard to a home. Two of Wands, it opens up your horizons. Open your window. That's what I see. This is somebody looking out the window. Are you at a are you at a hotel? Somebody's at a hotel. Or somebody gets up really early in the morning to open the blinds, open the window, open your horizons, open your eyes. Clarify the three of swords. The world. This cycle is over. This hurt, pain, betrayal, defeat, that cycle is over. Clarify the three of swords and the world. Strength. Be strong enough to step through this. Because, look, she's stepping through these two wands. It's like a portal stepping through. I see that here as well with the two of wands. Stepping through into a new portal, a new a new cycle, a new life. I hear um, time jump. Di walking into a new dimension. Time travel? What is that? A leap. Some type of leap. I'm surprised the fool didn't come out, okay? Anything else? Who is this? Gemini? Anything else for Gemini? The moon. Yeah, it's coming. Get prepared. It's coming. You won't be hurt too much longer. You won't be in pain too much longer. The star. All right? There. It's a secret. It's a surprise. It's a gift. Can you tell me about the moon, please? The moon is a secret. Spirit may not want to reveal it yet. Clarify the moon for Gemini. See, this is the definition of nothing is yet set in stone with this moon coming out. We have the star and the three of wands. It's coming in due time. Your ships are coming in. So much healing. You you probably, like, I'm getting that scripture. Um, what, what does it say? Your cup runneth over with fresh oil. Like, you're going to be so blessed and every your cup is going to run it over. It's going to run over. So much love. You see? Because the water bearer has to is pouring out this water, your cup is gonna run over. It's gonna be so full. All right, nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, confirming your whole reading. This is beautiful, Gemini. All right, your hard work is paying off. Remember, nothing is yet set in stone. Cancer. What can Cancer expect in May? Cancer. What's coming up for Cancer in May 2022? You are good enough, Cancer. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You are good enough. It's starting to come out. Show the world the real you. You are good enough. So show the world the real you. You're good enough. Your project, your idea, um, your platform, your fashion. Your hair design, your artwork, you are good enough. Show the world the real you. 
your voice it's good enough you have a beautiful voice keep singing all right you could be dealing with a libra justice things are going to be made right for you don't self-sabotage yourself don't talk down on yourself you are good enough so stop beating yourself up stop self-sabotaging stop being all shy and shit damn you know moses was shy moses couldn't even talk he had a speech impediment is what they don't tell you but jesus you god used moses he was still able to set all them people free your voice could be setting somebody free your content your testimony whatever it is could be setting somebody free you are good enough is this cancer i like this you know i'm down i'm here to encourage you right now even the cards Spirit is specifically telling you, wake up. You are good enough. I want you to show the world the real you. I want you to show the world who you really are. I hear you are my son and the one true king. Y'all watching Lion King right now? Y'all can have Leo in your chart. The Ace of Swords. Show the world the real you. And don't um confuse yourself anymore you've been confusing yourself for a different person when you're around these people when you're around this love interest when you're at this job no no three of wands it's gonna come a point in time where the things that you receive from god from spirit only the real you can receive you have to show the world the real you double aquarius so you are good enough full moon in virgo you are good enough full moon in aquarius this is full moons when is the next full moon Put that date in your calendar. Clarify justice for cancer. I feel like I'm preaching to y'all. The wheel of fortune. Exactly, your reading is over. The wheel of fortune. Your fortune is changing, okay? It's time to show the world the real you. You've changed. I hear you even, you lost weight or you want to lose weight. You want to um, create things for people to lose weight for their diet or something like that. You created some type of hair care, skin care products and things like that do that show the world the real you especially with your sexual orientation you like what you like show the world the real you okay clarify the ace of swords the empress exactly you don't want to show the world this empress the beautiful wonderful growth expansion Midas touch anything you could ever want and ask for taken care of this is you this is who you really are you're not a peasant you're the queen you're the empress you're not a peasant you're the king the emperor stop acting like act stop okay clarify the three of wands y'all not hearing me clarify the three of wands six of pentacles clarify the three of wands and the the emperor at the bottom of the deck right here so this is all about you needing to know that you're good enough for this relationship, for these gifts, for universe to be blessing you because they are. Oh, they are. Show the world the real you. High priest is right here. All right. That's confirming and solidifying your, your reading. You could be dealing with a Taurus Libra. Expect this goodness in this union, but also don't self-sabotage yourself. You're good enough. So I hear you questioning yourself. You're, you keep questioning yourself. Okay. Work on that. The high priestess came out because the high priestess is confident in her abilities, confident in her intuition, confident in the messages she's getting or he. So you can be dealing with a fixed sign, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. We saw Libra and Aries. Could be dealing with a Libra uh, as well with the Justice card or an Aquarius. Double Aquarius or a Virgo. What can Leo expect? Leo. What can Leo expect in May? May 2022. Be bold and make the first move, Leo. You can expect that you may be making the first move or you may be needing to. You're going to be making moves in May. Communication is key. So please communicate clearly. Sometimes you may have to be the bigger person and apologize. Sometimes you may have to be the bigger person and reach out first. Sometimes you may have to be the bigger person and walk away, okay? So you're going to have to be very mature and made, Leo. 
no more just having temper tantrums or getting upset and going from zero to 50 million thousand you're gonna communication is key um heavy is heavy is the head who wears the crown leo be bold and make the first move all right what can leo expect in may what's coming up for leo we got the four of cups right here are you upset disappointed what's going on what's going on for leo in may 2022 the king of coins your money's looking good maybe your love life is a little dry right now what's going on for leo yeah the hangman your love life is a little dry right now or something is at a standstill you have to um communicate communicate with spirit too not just with you know people with spirit with the universe what do you want be bold and make the first move clarify the four of cups for leo queen of cups your feelings emotions they're um, maturing, growing, either for someone or you're becoming emotional. Yeah, you got to be emotionally mature if you're going to be bold and make the first move. Remember I told you, you're gonna, you might be the one to have to turn the other cheek. You might have to be the one to give the apology. You might have to be the one to do it. If you want it done, you're going to have to do it yourself. Okay, clarify the Four of Cups and the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces strongly. Queen of Swords. Two Queens. So you could have two sisters, two options, two opportunities. Maybe you're a woman and you like women. So you're you're wor you're wondering or worried about how to approach the situation communication is key so maybe you are letting your emotions get in the way and you have to communicate logically or maybe there needs to be a balance between the two your emotions and your logic clarify the queen of coins i'm sorry the king of coins i see a lot of queens i saw the queen of wands i should have pulled her out ace of cups you're in love with someone or this king of Pentacles is in love with you. We have the Ten of Coins at the bottom of the deck. Clarify the King of Coins and the Ace of Cups for Leo. Six of Coins. I see somebody is sharing love, time, and attention with you. Ten of Pentacles still at the bottom of the deck. Clarify the Hangman. Knight of Swords. So I feel like you put your foot in your mouth. Then four of pentacles. You're dealing with somebody who wants you to be more direct. Be bold and make the first move. Communication is key. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Gemini. You have to you have to say what's on your mind. This person will not um, read in between the lines. They're not going to catch the hints. They're not going to um, pick up what you're putting down. No, you have to just say it blunt, just like that. Knight of Swords is blunt. Clarify the hangman. The empress, exactly. The empress says what she wants, clear and decisive. I want this. I want you to do this. This is what I want from the, okay? And spirit is telling you, you need to start talking to spirit like this too. You need to start talking to people like this from now on. This is what I want. Because you're not being clear and you kind of, well, I just maybe what might possibly, I'm not sure. No, because that'll keep your blessings hangman stuck in suspension okay you got to pull your blessings out the atmosphere say it right now i want this right now i want a new car and to be able to afford a new car i want a new home and to be able to afford a new home or you know say what you want say what you need all right because the empress has everything she wants and needs this is how you got to start communicating be bold leo no more timid lion okay you can be dealing with a libra taurus Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini. All right, Virgo. What's going on for Virgo in May? Virgo. Virgo. Okay. The energy is gaining momentum, Virgo. So there's going to be a buildup. The wheel is turning. The energy is gaining momentum. Emotions are running high. You could be dealing with an Aries. I think Aries got that. So the energy is gaining momentum and emotions will be running high. Don't let pride get in your way. 
All right, Virgo. All right, what's coming up for Virgo in May? May 2022. Six of Wands, victory and success. The energy is gaining momentum. So your platform is growing. Your income is growing. Success and happiness is growing. Social life is growing. With the full card, could be done with an Aries or a Pisces. You're taking leaps of faith. You're traveling. You're having a good time. Life is good right now. The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah. All the hard work you've been putting in is paying off. You're healing as well. Five of Cups and the Star healing. So this is a um, internal victory for yourself. Self-satisfaction. With the World card and Judgment right here. And Strength right here. And the Empress right here. With the Magician right here. How many majors just came out? Virgo, damn. You doing the motherfucking thing. Clarify the fool. Let me get a storyline. Clarify the fool. Six of Cups. So you're either running away from the past or you're confronting it. I see the past could be catching up to you. But I don't think you're afraid anymore. You're not afraid of the past anymore. The energy is gaining momentum. Things are being rectified. Things are being made right. So things from the past, if you did anything wrong, said anything wrong, these things are being made right. I see your, I don't know if like your karma is being paid or something like that. We do have judgment right here. So let me see. Yeah, we have the star could be done with an Aquarius healing strength, power. I hear power. You have the power, the world card, to open a new door, empress, and get everything that you want. Magician, you've manifested this. You're the magician. Judgment, making better decisions, better judgment with the full card in this new journey. And the six of cups, you could you could be getting someone from the past that you want back. You could be. Yep. Eight of Pentacles in the Sun. Could be a Leo. Ace of Swords, breakthrough and communication. I hear I still love you. Still. I'm still in love with you. Um, for the rest of you, these uh the energy gaining momentum is all of these majors coming out. This big transformation. So much clarity in May. So much clarity in May. I feel um the weight is gonna be taken off your shoulders as well. Eight of Pentacles, whatever it is you're doing, you love it. Eight of Pentacles, the time, energy, and attention you're putting in, you love it. it. It makes you feel good. It makes you look good, too. Six of Cups. The past isn't weighing you back anymore. You are looking back on the past and reflecting. And the past is an option as well. Whatever, you're moving forward. But I feel like you moving forward, you're, t you're reassured that whatever is meant for you is for you. Okay? Judgment Magician, you've manifested a second chance. The the universe, the stars are in alignment, whatever you want to say. Death card could be done with the Scorpio. Yeah, transformation, transition, a second chance. That's what I hear, a rebirth, a complete second chance. I hear you literally have been turned into a completely different person. All right? People are going to say, you changed. Virgo, you changed. But you changed for the better. All right, don't let pride get in your way. Okay. Libra. What's coming up for Libra in May? You and your loved ones are safe, Libra. And your dreams need a practical plan. Could be dealing with a Cancer or a Taurus. You and your loved ones are safe. There's nothing to worry about. Or if it's just you and you're wondering if you're safe, you are safe. Maybe you're wondering if you're safe with this dream that you're planning on investing in. All right, what's coming up for Libra? The high priestess, use your intuition. Let your intuition be your guide. Things are going to be okay. Things are going to be made right and fair and balanced. Ace of Swords. Speak up. Speak out. Okay? Your dreams need a practical plan. Two of Pentacles is not a practical plan. This is seeing where it goes, seeing how much you can do, juggling, and um, just winging it. Okay? Clarify the high priestess. 
Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I see you're getting in the rhythm. You're getting in the rhythm. You're getting used to it. You're getting the hang of it. All right? Now you need a plan. Clarify justice. The Empress. Everybody's getting this Empress, boy. Yes. May? Yes. Yeah, hell yes. Look at this. King of Wands, King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. So you got people... Yeah, you I don't know if you're surrounded by a bunch of people or if you're in some type I hear shelter. I'm not I'm just gonna say it. If you're in some type of shelter or in some type of group or something like that, you're wondering if you're safe. So like these people can't hurt you in any type of way. They can't touch you. Even if you feel some type of backbiting energy, five of swords, some type of competitive type of energy, they can't hurt you in any any type of way. You're the Empress. There are people here on your side. This King of Cups, King of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. So I see two new opportunities right here. Ten of Cups is going to make you very happy. I hear um, if you're a man, you like men. But also your uncles, your, I hear your dad and your uncle, they're not fighting anymore. Or your two brothers or two cousins, whoever these two men are, they're not fighting anymore. They actually come in to help you, give you a gift, give you advice, something like that. It has something to do with the family. So maybe you have two baby dads. Or maybe you have a baby daddy and a boyfriend. They're not arguing anymore. They're not fighting anymore. All right, clarify the Ace of Swords. Page of Cups. There's some type of love offer, and there's a baby. There's a baby. The Empress in the Page of Cups is a baby. Three of Swords. So, also, I'm seeing if you didn't know who your baby dad was, I see both these men are going to be in your life. If you, if, if you're, if two, you didn't know out of these two men who your baby dad was, both of these men will be in your life, will be there for the baby. Yeah, the Hermit, Six of Cups, and the Two of Cups. You're getting everything you fucking want. It don't matter what the hell you do. You're just going to get a smack on your wrist and just keep going. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, back to the other storyline. Ace of Swords. Somebody says something. Somebody gives you some type of, I hear a kiss. So I don't know if they're giving you a kiss on the cheek or like a butterfly kiss or maybe Hershey's kiss. Somebody's giving you something that makes you feel better. Here, take this. You can be dealing with a Libra. We have Justice and the Empress. So you're somebody is like clarify Justice and the Empress. five of wands yeah somebody could have been fighting over you or divorce court or something like that we got the three of pentacles i saw the hermit again so i'm seeing like somebody is fighting for you i also get if somebody is fighting against you i did see like remember i told you if you're in some type of group or in some type of group setting or something like that with multiple people like nothing these people do can hurt you five of wands you can't hurt the empress with justice things are going to be made right it's not going to affect your money. So if somebody was coming after your money, there are two people who have your back and will give you the money you need. Okay? Some of you can have two jobs. High Priestess, you're protected, divinely protected. Eight of Pentacles, have that practical plan for yourself. Okay? Y'all want to do these get-rich-quick schemes. Don't. Just have that plan. Okay? You and your loved ones are safe. Your dreams need a practical plan. Damn, why did I spend so much time on y'all? Um, I don't even know who that was. Who was that? I don't know who that was. All right, we're going to do, I think it was Libra. Scorpio. I think I skipped Virgo. Or maybe I skip Libra. Okay, look, let's do Libra. Let's do Libra. A new start is coming, Libra. That's what you can expect in May. Knight of Swords. Somebody's saying something to you. Ten of Cups. It makes you happy. Two of Swords. It gives you things to think about. Three of Swords. Never mind. Somebody in your family says something... That hurts your feelings. Clarify the Knight of Swords. What are they saying? Queen of Swords. You guys are getting into an argument. Is this a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius? Is just being a bitch right now. Page of Wands. Yeah, they send it through a text message or if one of the children say it or something like that. Clarify the Ten of Cups. 
Knight of Cups. Okay, you have two uh, love offers. Do not tell people that you have two love offers because your family member or one of the kids is going to say, this isn't so-and-so or don't you already have a boyfriend or something like that. And it's going to piss you off. Nine of Pentacles. And it's going to make you single. Like, get out my life. I'm single. Shit. You're going to have to explain yourself to this person? Yeah, King of Cups. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, if you have two options, I just wouldn't tell anybody about it. Um, but we do have a new start is coming. Let me see what's going on with that. If I can pick these cards up. Okay, who the hell is this? Libra. I'm not going to forget. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Five of Cups Reverse. I don't read reversals, but I'll keep it there. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. You're juggling. There is a new start. Page of Coins. Yeah, there's a new start coming, especially in work. A new project, idea, another way to make money. Ace of Pentacles. High Priestess. Don't tell anybody. I keep getting that energy. May keep your shit a secret. Libra, golly. Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody gonna be all in your business, the lovers. Nine of Cups. You're gonna be happy than a bitch with the star, okay? Don't don't tell them. Don't tell them. Your new start is here. It ain't their business. Eight of Coins. Keep your head down. Keep your nose to the grind. You're dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Earth signs. That was Libra. Now we're going on to Scorpio. What can Scorpio expect in May? Scorpio. You are very close to achieving your goal. Don't let your past hold you back. Yeah, you're achieving your goal. Your goal was possibly to heal from the past. Your commitment is being tested. Exactly. So you could be in a commitment with a new person. Or your commitment to not going back to the past is being tested. Ace of Swords, the Moon, King of Swords. Who is this? Scorpio. Your commitment is being tested. Don't let your past hold you back because it's coming back to um to test your ass. Okay, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a um, Cancer. You got the Queen of Pentacles coming out. It could be somebody you have money with, a lot of history with, because we got the King and Queen of Coins. Look at them. They chillax and shit. You know they, you know they got history. Ain't no way they can't not fuck with each other. Look at them. They got history. Y'all could have kids together, could have money together, cars together, have a house together, something like that. Okay, but there's going to be something that you hear in regard to your money or stability. Clarify the Ace of Swords and the King and Queen of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Another option is being presented. Three of Swords right here. Clarify the Moon. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Clarify the moon and the eight of pentacles. Wheel of fortune. Yeah, and the late at night. Kiss me in the morning, late at night. That's what I heard. So I'm hearing like late at night, the burning the midnight oil. I don't know what you're working on, but that shit is turning around in your favor. Clarify the king of swords. Judgment. A decision. Lovers. So, yeah, I see multiple options, multiple opportunities. Page of coins, ace of coins. Three of coins, a lot of money. I see the king of, I see the king and queen of wands as well. So, we got the king and queen of pentacles, king and queen of wands. So, there's somebody you are on a match with in this frequency and somebody else you're on a match with in that frequency. Or a job you that you match with on this frequency and another job you match with on another frequency. Whatever it is you're doing, you're close to achieving your goal. Here's the money, stability, assets right here. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, a lot of money, okay? So the raise, the promotion is guaranteed. Wheel of Fortune, stay on this path, all right? The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Your commitment is being tested. Could be your commitment to that you possibly committed to yourself dedicated loving yourself time to yourself working on your craft and things like that use your discernment because i do see a pair here i do see a pair use your discernment on what you're gonna do because something isn't what it seems the devil card yeah one thing looks good but 
underneath the surface is not. So don't let your past hold you back. You're close to achieving your goal. Sagittarius. What can Sagittarius expect in May? Expect powerful change. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Take time to breathe out. So big changes. Make sure you get time to breathe out and rest. Four of Wands right here. Could be dealing with a soulmate, a relationship. Could be moving something with your stability and foundation. We have the Knight of Cups right here with the Devil and the Hermit. Hmm. I hear it's a stranger in my house. So clarify the Four of Wands. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're not happy here. This isn't what you expected. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. So your family is pissing you off. You want to be single. Ten of Pentacles to the nine. The money is great, but damn, you. I see you want to change in scenery or you don't want all the responsibilities. You want the family life without the family. Clarify the devil. High Priestess. What the fuck? Clarify the devil and the high priestess. I hear spiritual attack. Clarify the devil and the high priestess. Two of coins. Somebody's literally trying to confuse you, block your intuition, stop you from seeing things clearly. Ace of Swords is in reverse. Why? Clarify the hermit. Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody's saying something, doing something to block your intuition. I hear chanting. What the fuck is this? Clarify the hermit and the queen of swords. Who, who the fuck is this? Sagittarius, okay. King of coins. Five of swords. Somebody. Shit, my bad. Somebody. Clarify the devil and the high priestess. Six of cups. There's some shit you gotta wrap up from the pack. You gotta wrap that shit up. You got you, yeah. It's gonna keep coming back. There's something you're not seeing clearly for what it is. It's gonna keep coming back. You see this this infinite sign right here under the two of pentacles. It's gonna keep coming back over and over and over again, over and over and over again. So I hear your um somebody is replaying the past in a whole different light than what even really happened. It didn't even really happen like that. So take time to breathe out because your perception is off. Expect powerful change. So I see somebody's been living in a delusion or a fantasy and that shit is changing, okay? Capricorn. What can Capricorn expect in me? Capricorn. Hold your vision, Capricorn. Time for healing. So hold your vision. Time for healing. Forget all that extra shit. Well, don't forget all the extra shit, but yeah, hold your vision. You can dedicate to doing everything else you want to do except healing. No, you need to heal too. Okay, Capricorn. What can Capricorn expect in May? Eight of Pentacles. Everybody's getting this. Working on your money. Five of Cups. You're sad. Some need to heal from something. Queen of Pentacles. You feel like everything... You feel like the money or whatever it is that you acquired, the time energy that you invested in, it's, it wasn't worth it. You didn't get the emotional investment back. You got the money back, but not the emotional investment back. Okay? It's a time for healing. Eight of Coins. Maybe you feel like... Maybe you feel like you put your time and energy into shit that don't um, make you feel the way you're trying to feel. You're looking for some type of fulfillment, Eight of Cups. Look, Eight of Cups is looking for that ninth cup, the feel, fulfillment, wish fulfillment. Damn. So, let's see. Clarify the Eight of Coins and the Two of Wands. Eight of Cups and the Seven of Wands. You won't admit it. You won't admit that the things that you've been doing isn't even shit that's making you happy. Clarify the Five of Cups. Nine of Cups. You want to be happy. Do you like being sad? Five of Cups is a sad energy. Nine of Cups. I like this. 
do you like being sad? I don't know what that is. Clarify the queen of coins. King of coins. Okay, look. Here's the match right here. The divine pair. This person makes you miserable, but you love them or something like that. I don't know. Clarify the seven of coins. Justice. You feel like it wouldn't be fair to yourself or it would it wouldn't something wouldn't be fair if you just gave up on this investment. It wouldn't be fair. You put so much time, love, energy, attention into this. So maybe this is what you're holding your vision and doing. You you may not be able to see it now. You may be upset or sad right now, but you know in the long run, this investment is going to work out for you in the long run. But another lesson for you Capricorn, who the fuck is this? This is Capricorn, ain't it? Another lesson for you, Capricorn, and, and I, I heard this, and it was one of those relationship coaches who said it, some white dude. But he said, we have to stop investing in the admiration we have for people. We have to stop investing in um, what we, like, when he was like, it would, I see the potential in this person. I see, like, where we could be in 10 years don't invest in that because you don't know if you will get there in 10 years he was basically saying invest in how this person is making you feel right now are they making you feel good or are they making you feel bad because i can't remember all the rest that he was saying but he was just basically saying invest in what aligns with your morals and values does this person align with your morals and values and shit like that but Take the story for how it resonates, y'all. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We got the pair here, King and Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Libra. Nine of Cups. I do see wish fulfillment. I feel like this is the path you've chosen. Regardless of if you love it or not, you're going to stay on this path. I guess this is why you're holding your vision, but healing needs to take place as well. Aquarius. What can Aquarius expect in May? Aquarius. I will take this. Work through your fears. Double Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. Aquarius. What can Aquarius expect in May? What's going on for Aquarius in May 2022? Aquarius be dealing with the libra things are going to be made right you can have scorpio or libra in your chart you have the emperor with the magician three majors coming out three big changes you have to release this negativity so spirit can move so spirit can work in your life clarify justice spirit is going to do it regardless but yeah the fool two of cups release this negativity so this love can come into your life ace of cups Clarify the Emperor. King of Wands. <laughs> I see the King of Coins when I split the deck. You're single. I don't know if you're dealing with multiple people. Clarify the Emperor and the King of Wands. Ace of Swords. Yeah, I like this. So, this Emperor, I, I don't get this Emperor being like a like you know the negative connotation of the emperor being stubborn and shit like that this is actually working well for you you being stubborn you being set in your ways you saying you know what this is my yay is my yay and my nay is my nay this is actually good for you aquarius clarify the magician king of coins didn't i tell you i saw the king of coins already i cut the deck I, yeah i said that shit already so i like this clarify the magician and the king of coins for aquarius shit okay king of coins and the magician please for aquarius five of wands yeah people don't like you but fuck it Stay in your ways. You got to you. I'm I'm not saying stay stuck in your ways because some of you are literally stuck. But you hold, work through these fears. Because I see some of you are looking at yourselves in the mirror, wondering, is it me? Am I doing something wrong? Why are they doing this to me? Why are they treating me this way? This, this, and this. 
okay work through your fears and release the negativity because the emperor and the king of wands with the ace of swords you're gonna get some type of clarity or some type of truth if you stay true to yourself clarify the king of wands and the emperor for aquarius could be an aries or a sagittarius the queen of cups and the empress exactly a lot of people you're dating a lot of people so what <laughs> So what? So, okay, so these cards may not have shit to do with the tarot. But what I'm seeing is, one, for one, a divine pair, a match. Balance between masculine and feminine. Here's your match. So your match when it comes to your job. Your match when it comes to union with the family. Your match when it comes to a relationship. You and your person. Okay? Any of those things. A lot of healing. You came out. A lot of healing with the star card. I see with the magician, people are fighting for you or fighting over you. They could want your attention or something about your money because the king of pentacles represents money. A Gemini and the earth sign could be fighting over you. Then we have the queen of cups and the king of wands. Look at all these people. The fool and the magician so what i'm hearing is this five of wands is all of these people who see you in your in your powerful energy the empress the emperor justice right here this is powerful beautiful energy to be in things always go right for you and may everything's going to go right for you release negativity and people are going to be mad because you're releasing people you're releasing bad habits you're releasing old ways of being you're using your intuition cutting these things off with your sword okay but I also get people are mad at you because you, you're that it girl or you're that it guy and you're just walking around flaunting and not really like caring. You know how somebody is walking around. You know how the it's just like the baddest bitch in the room walking around, but she insecure. How dare you be insecure? You're the baddest bitch in the room or the finest dude in the room, the smartest got all the answers and being all humble and downing yourself and downplaying yourself that's what you do that people don't like that shit when you downplay yourself don't do it don't downplay let them feast on feast and bask if some people may not deserve it but shit y'all gonna bask in my essence my beautifulness my um you know i'm blessed by the universe when people ask you how you doing you say i'm blessed people are mad because you you got a smile on your face people are mad because you got a victory things are being made right for you you're loved divinely loved you're loved by so many people all right you could be dealing with anybody i know y'all asked me wanting to know could be dealing with the leo capricorn taurus gemini aries sagittarius gemini libra aquarius cancer pisces pisces aries cancer pisces Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Libra, <laughs> or Scorpio. Work through your fears and release this negativity. All right. Last but not least, Pisces. Last but not least, Pisces. What can Pisces expect in May? Time to breathe out. Who got that? I think Virgo or Libra got it. A personal issue reaches resolution. Could be dealing with a cancer. Time to breathe out. Once you breathe out, take some time out, meditate. There's going to be a personal issue that um, reaches resolution. You got to heal. Breathe out. Let them go. All right, what we got for Pisces? The hair fit. Yes, spirit is on your side. Take time to breathe out. Love on yourself. Queen of Cups and the Lovers. Okay, this is spiritual. Clarify the Hierophant. Could we deal with the Taurus? Clarify the Hierophant. Four of Cups. You've been feeling indifferent. Clarify the Four of Cups and the Hierophant. I hear you asking Spirit, what do you want me to do? Yeah, what do you want me to do? 
nine of I'm sorry nine okay the hermit there's the nine right there spirit is trying to tell you to do something or spirit is trying to show you some type of emotion or feeling that you've been feeling take time to breathe out spirit is this is you're on the right part of your journey this is what the hierophant means yes you are on your spiritual path spirit is assisting you or spirit has their hands on this especially with the hermit card dealing with this virgo clarify the hermit who is this hermit what do they represent clarify the hermit Ace of Pentacles. I know that's right. Take time to breathe out because you've been feeling some type of way emotionally. Breathe out. Meditate. There's going to be some type of personal issue that reaches resolution. There's money coming too. I was going to clarify the Queen of Cups. The Five of Wands and the Knight of Cups jumped out. So there are multiple people fighting for your love or affection. And you're just like, I just want to chill. Can y'all chill, please? Clarify the Queen of Cups. The star. Yeah, I want to heal. So there's Aquarius showing up. Clarify the Queen of Cups and the star. A lot of water. You're getting by a body of water. You're healing. You're taking a spiritual bath, a cleansing bath. Um, you're going to the beach or by some area of water. King of Coins. Money is the outcome. I don't know what's going on. Put emotional emotions is the income, the input. Money stability is the outcome, the output. I hope that makes sense. Clarify the lovers. Eight of Pentacles. Exactly. Exactly with the sun. You're dealing with the Leo. Here you are, Pisces, showing up with the high priestess. You know what I'm talking about. I may not be able to explain it right, but damn it, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, we got the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups. Two new beginnings, two messages, two options, opportunities. Two pages is brand new beginnings. Clarify. Clarify the Page of Cups and the Page of Swords page of coins i knew another page was going to come out three new beginnings three things are going to be happening in synchronicity bam 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 back to back to back all right there's going to be an input and an output okay this is beautiful energy so you can have three children three of wands three 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 three, three is nine remember i said nine we have the king of cups right here The Queen of Cups is already out. And they're looking at each other too. Now look at my baby right there. Look at my baby. <laughs> That's my baby right there. That's what I hear. That's my baby right there. Okay. All right. Clarify the High Priestess for Pisces. Four of Wands. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Pisces. Yes. So, Four of Wands. The Emperor. Yeah. This Big Daddy right here. So, some type, something that's going to solidify. Something that's going to... What's the word, Spirit? What's the word? What's the word I'm trying to... Trying, what's that word? All I can hear is solidify. Yeah. So this is going to solidify your stability. This is whoever the emperor could be you. Um, or it could be an Aries Pisces boss. Someone in some type of authoritative energy that can help you. That's going to give you some type of information. That's going to make things balanced for you. That's going to bring money, stability, passion to you with the fool what is this pisces i don't know what just happened but there's some type of big 360 when you get your emotions together or spirit has their hand on this i don't know what the what it is the empress is coming out to the emperor and the empress then the king and queen of cups this 
balance spirituality and practicality is what i hear a personal issue is reaching resolution once you take time to breathe out and recalibrate things are going to be made right again okay this is a recalibration all right you can be dealing with anybody that's all i have for y'all thank you for coming back to my channel you can like share subscribe leave me a comment leave me a love donation book a personal reading with me donate to the channel until i see you guys again y'all be safe i love y'all Bye bye